There are only a couple of events each year in the off-campus student housing industry that bring all of the industry leaders together. The National Multifamily Housing Council's annual Student Housing Conference is the longest running conference for the industry. 2023 marks the 20th year for this conference and is being held October 17th through the 19th at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the premier event for student housing professionals bringing together leaders from all facets of the sector, including owners and operators, investors, lenders, and university partners. The conference features the industry's best and brightest minds all at one event, delivering the knowledge, tools, programs, and connections necessary for leaders to shape their future success and the future of our industry. So who are some of the folks attending this year's conference? Let's meet one of them right now. So Mike, I hear you're going to Vegas. Sure am. Looking forward to another great NMHC. I think we missed uh, we missed last year because of that hurricane. So uh, excited to get back to it. We did. We did. You know, I, I just put out a podcast on um, you know the fall preview of the conferences and everything, and I was interviewing you know Matthew and and um, Dave from from NMHC, you know, talking about what's going to be happening at this conference in Vegas. And and I said, guys, I said, you know, last year when everything got canceled, you know, after Ian, we said, well, it's in Vegas next year. We won't ever have to worry about a hurricane there. And I don't know if you noticed, but the the West Coast hurricane, I can't remember the name of it now, but the West Coast hurricane that happened just a few weeks ago where San Diego got a bunch of rain. I read the headlines that this was the first ever tropical storm or tropical depression that Las Vegas has ever had. <laughs> like, well, at least it came up. Yeah. So no, I, I think, uh, I think everything will, will go fantastic. Um, how many times have you been to Vegas? Oh my gosh. Um, probably too many times, but uh, it's, it's yeah. actually been a while. Um, I think the last time I was there was in late 2018 um, but I've probably been there 10 or 15 times for fun and, uh, and various conferences. Yeah. Yeah. I've had, um, I had a project up in, in Reno. So I got a, you know, I had several since the pandemic, I probably had several, you know, layovers in the airport, but that's been about it as far as Las Vegas is concerned. So I'm, I'm interested in getting back to it and seeing, seeing what's changed over the past few years and, and, um, you know, taking in some shows and some other stuff, but Hey, really quick, uh, you know, I know our audience knows a lot about leap. You know, this isn't the first time that you've been on the podcast or, um, on, on one of these, uh, you know, kind of conference intro videos, but for those that may not know anything about leap, can you give us kind of that 90 second elevator pitch as to what you guys do? Leap is your, uh, resident, um, co-signer alternative or guarantor alternative for your student housing communities. We also offer deposit replacement products as well. And uh, essentially, we have a program that's very similar to a forced place renter's insurance, but for a guarantor. So any of your students who don't have that qualified co-signer, they can't come up with a prepaid deposit or a few months of upfront rent. We are that occupancy tool at the front end to secure those leases, get rid of those pending applicants for anybody who is is sitting out there unable to get qualified. On the back end, um, we are an insurance company. So during the setup process, we work with the teams to ensure we have appropriate coverage. And that way, if, um, if the student skips out or if you end up having to go through the eviction process, we are reimbursing you um, for rent, utilities, uh, parking charges, uh, legal fees associated with evictions, and so on, um, up to up to the full value of the lease or until coverage expires, uh, whatever comes first. So, it's a really cool alternative to uh, to deposits and uh, and those traditional co-signers that may take uh, quite a bit of time to uh, complete your leasing process. Well, perfect. And yeah, you know, not only, not only am I a promoter for you guys, but I, I'm also, um, I'm also a client, I guess, in, in a lot of ways, um, cause my clients, I'm always, you know, pushing them to, to certainly look at the, at the rent guarantee product as well as, as well as the security deposit alternative. Cause it's just, it's very invaluable, especially after a lot of things that we've, um, uh, you know, that we went through when it came to, um, when it came to the pandemic and you guys were, 
you know, a big savior for a lot of international students that we were. needed to get home. <laughs> <laughs> we were, yeah, definitely. Well, hey, uh, really quick with NMHC, I know there's a lot of things that NMHC does throughout the year, and you guys are a part of a lot of those. Um, but specifically for the Student Housing Conference, what is it that you that you really like about this? What are some of the things that you would you know say to a first time attendee? Hey, make sure you're you know cluing in on this or being a part of this, and any suggestions there? Yeah, definitely. So um, what I love most about this conference is that there aren't usually multiple tracks. Um, so you're able to go to every session um, yeah. that is that is offered. So uh, there's nothing that you're missing out on or having to catch up on uh, later if you if you make the most of your time there and and are able to attend uh, everything. So um, I think there's also going, going to be a W Collective happy hour um, yeah. for uh, for the women's initiative. So encourage anybody to to attend that as well. Yeah, yeah, we talked to uh, Lisa Dillon um, in the series as well uh, from University Furnishings, and and that is um, something she mentioned for everybody. And I think that's you know the, I love what's happening with the W Collective at these conferences because it's really putting them you know kind of at the forefront and, and giving them a support system that um, I think has been has been needed in this industry for for a long time. So I'm excited to see. Um, to see those folks really standing up and and um, you know creating something because it's a it's a nice way to kind of hand the torch off between the generations for sure. Definitely. Well, hey, uh, going back to Vegas, uh, you know I've talked to several people you know throughout the series about hey, what are you doing? What are some of the things you want to take in? What is it for you? Are you going to take in any shows or? Um, always, love a, <laughs> always love a, uh, a Cirque du Soleil show. Um, I think, uh, I think there's a few folks performing now. Uh, there's some really good stuff going on, but, um, one, one tidbit for everybody, since this is at MGM, uh, it's a lot bigger than it seems. So allow some time mm -hmm. to, uh, to get around in between sessions or your room in the conference center. Um, but my favorite place, um, to eat, uh, I hope it's still good. It's been a few years since I've been to Vegas, but is Picasso at the Bellagio. It's a French restaurant. It's, uh, it's really cool. They've got a tasting menu over there and, um, it's something I try not to miss, uh, whenever I'm in town. So, uh, unfortunately my trip this, this year will be cut a little bit short. I have to get back for another, uh, another internal event that we have in New York, but, um, that's something I would highly recommend to anybody. Oh, but you can't, you can't go wrong with a Vegas show. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think there's, uh, <laughs> there's always some of the shows that, you know, I've never walked away from any show saying, I wish I hadn't done that or wish I hadn't spent that money. Now there have been some, I'm like, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't do that again, but I'm glad I went. <laughs> so. And I think, I think there's like Barry Manilow's there and and yeah. is Drake there too, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I heard don't that know about mistake. Drake, but I do know that um, uh, I'm sure they won't mind me sharing this since Lisa's already shared it, but um, Lisa and Julie Bonin are staying an extra day just to make sure that they can go take in the, the Barry Manilow. Um, I saw shows. Julie this week and that's, that's the only reason I knew about it too. So. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they are pretty excited about it. <laughs> so, um, well, Hey, is there any other things that you guys are launching in this fall? Anything that I know you guys have got a, a, um, a scholarship program that we've talked about, you know, on the podcast before. Um, I think that's coming out. Any, any announcements around that you want to talk about? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm really excited. We actually just presented it, uh, what the program is going to look like to our advisory board last week. So we'll be launching um, our second annual scholarship program the first week of October. It'll run for about two months. Uh, we will do outreach to all of the um, all of the folks who utilize any of our programs to apply for it. And um, we've got some great questions, essay questions around um, DE&I, as well as somebody in your life, be it a mentor, a teacher, a parent who, um, who influenced uh, your education. So I, I'm really excited to see um, how many participants we get, uh, what the applications look like. And I know our internal team, as well as our advisory board, really got so much out of um, reading these these essay questions last year. Uh, we've also, uh, with the help of our, our insurer, have been able to double our um, 
uh, the amount of scholarships or, oh. or the, the total value that we're giving out this year. So there'll be a total of $50,000 worth of scholarships awarded to a total of nine students. So uh, we'll be sending out, uh, publishing some things um, through LinkedIn and, and some other advertisement uh, avenues over the next couple of months as we roll this out and as we announce our, our winners. Well, that's fantastic. I, just curious because I know we've got some folks that are going to be going to this um, to this conference that are a little bit, I guess I would call it student adjacent. They've got a conventional property, but you know they're they're in a college town, and you know they've got a lot of college students. If they're, I'm assuming if they're you know, a leap client that this is something that, that their residents can apply for as well? That's correct. Yeah. So um, the student is asked for their uh, their university or college information uh, at the start. But yeah, as long as they are a full-time student, they are eligible to apply. Well, fantastic. Well, I can't wait to uh, to see who gets awarded that. And um, that's, that's become a, a big thing that everybody is rallying around. And um, I really think, thank you guys for, for doing that. Any, any other last comments that you want to make? And I want to make sure that we get your, your contact information in case anybody wants to set up an appointment with you in advance. Definitely. So Marta and I will be attending together. I believe we're available pretty much all day Tuesday to, uh, to meet with anybody who'd like to meet with us. Uh, we'll share a Calendly link in the, in the recording. Um, one of the, the last things I'll mention that we're really excited about is we're doing a lot of revamping to our resources that are available to our properties. Uh, we've launched a new portal this year. Um, so in order to see adoption, file claims, uh, and then we've just you know really tried to dig into what might be useful for, for our site teams. Uh, move in checklists, um, you know, being a part of phone shops or, or mystery shops and things like that. Okay. Uh, just making sure that, um, you know, our the, the leasing teams and properties that we support have Leap as a leasing tool um, to make sure that they are not turning away anybody that can possibly become a, a secured lease and get those properties leased up as quickly as possible. I know we're, I uh, can't believe we're already kicking off leasing already. Yeah, yeah, it's we've got uh at the day that we're we are recording this we've got our first uh, shop talk of the of the season this afternoon and um just talking you know on some of the preliminary meetings it, it's it's already gotten crazy <laughs> <laughs> well hey looking forward to to seeing you in vegas again thanks for for being one of our sponsors for our top golf event looking forward to to seeing you there and and having a great time at that so we'll see you then Sounds great, Wes. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.